Hi guys, welcome to Audio Media Channel. This is Sello Kumar. Today, we have a new product for review. This product is accessory for the M1 Mac. Now you can connect up to two to three displays to your M1 machine. That is the topic. So, when I bought my M1 MacBook Pro one and a half years ago, the biggest difficulty I had was connecting multiple displays. The display itself is very small, 13 inches, not enough for doing video editing or color grading or even audio. You know, you need a nice two big displays like 4K displays, something like that to have a nice session. So now if you see my setup there, near my M1 MacBook Pro, I have two displays, one 4K display and one Full HD display connected. I can actually connect two 4K displays if required. So to do this, uh, all I need to do is, I need to buy this Universal Docking Station DX2. This is a product from this company called A-Logic. So, this gadget can give you two additional displays except for the M1 MacBook Pro's display. So, totally you can have three displays with this unit plus this also has lot of other advantages as well. So, if you see here, this is because of this display link technology. Only because of the display link technology, you are able to connect these two additional monitors through display port. The other big advantage of this is, it has got a charging cable and it is a 65 watt charger. So, a 13 inch MacBook Pro could be fully charged with this cable that comes from this unit directly inside the Mac and that consumes one Thunderbolt 3 port. And the other Thunderbolt 3 port is totally free. Except for this, if you look at the inputs and outputs available in this machine, you have a gigabit Ethernet port, you have two display ports, USB 3.1 you have two ports. Then this special USB-C port is what is connected to your Mac, then there is a port to connect the power supply that comes along with this unit. In the front side of the unit, you have a power button plus you have another USB 3 port plus a USB C port. This USB C port is quite fast, the 10 GBPS port, similar to the port that is there on the M1 machine itself. In this, I have connected my Samsung T7 drive. So, I am able to get up to 600 MB per second on this port. Then there is a headphone output port additionally. So, all these ports are available in this box. They also have a higher model called DX3. In DX3, you have three display ports plus additionally you have a SD card slot, a micro SD slot and also audio input. For a reasonable setup, two displays are more than enough and this unit has got all the functionality that is required. So, these are the all the accessories you get in the box, you, the box itself, then four different type of power cables. This is the power adapter they give, plus this is the cable that goes and connects to your Mac. This is the unit itself, that is a booklet. In the front panel, you can put two ports are there. One port is a USB 3 port, which is got charging support. The second port also got charging support, it's a USB-C port. Here I have put a T7 drive. So guys, so this is the setup I have now in my studio. So with this setup, I will be able to do live. So every week on Sundays, we are planning to do uh, audio media live. So this live show is going to be like a live interview with some technician, musician, singer, people like that. Plus also there will be a section wherein I will be having a doubt clearing session on the videos that I post every week. That is all guys, uh, hope you found this video useful. Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and also do not forget to hit the bell notification to get updates as and when we post new videos. This is Salukumar signing out for Audio Media channel, thank you.